Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli, and today I'm going to talk about the chicken and the egg, and I'm not going to tell you which one came first, and the reason is, is I don't know, but the chicken and the egg idea is to me the electric car revolution slash charging infrastructure. I've been following Tesla since its inception since the very beginning and to me Tesla what makes Tesla so different than the others beside the cars the quality the, the beside everything is that they really really answer that chicken and egg question they didn't say let's build cars and then I hope that there's gonna be more charging infrastructure they said we or let's build charging infrastructure and hope people will buy our cars they are doing both and if you look here's a picture if you look at a map of the Tesla supercharging station in the United States Europe and, and other places in the world and you see how rapidly it grew and the plans for more you can have a, a, a Tesla car a, and virtually virtually not 100% but 95% travel safely and get to your destination every single time no problems and for most Tesla cars today it's even for free that is a revolutionized a revolutionary idea um, let's say uh, let's make an equivalent to uh, to uh, the car can you imagine if gas stations were built first and then hoping people will buy cars or the other way around it had to come together this came and this came and and, and they all had to come together and as they expanded uh, both both infrastructure the infrastructure and the and the car were expanded what happens what's happening with the um, with the uh, non Tesla fast charging and when I say charging I'm talking about fast charging it has to be fast charging there's a lot of level two what we so called to say so called charging and I use them several times but fast charging when somebody's on the road going and there are and people do drive full electric cars uh, long distances uh, from you know from uh, from north to I'll call it from north to south and the two coasts in other places but it's very unreliable it's very unpredictable and I think that what is the biggest issue is that there's no uniformity in terms of the uh, of the uh, payment schemes? Okay, I have a EVgo card and I have a, a um, the charge point card and I have a couple other apps. Uh, I don't even remember what uh, what charging whatever that is. It, there's no uniformity. It's not like you come, you put a universal card. Uh, or you just put your card and, and, you, and you're in. You have to have all kinds of skins. Now, I know you can put a credit card and whatever, but it should be, and I'm sure they will be in the future, uh, some kind of something uniform. Um, imagine if you can only go to certain gas station depending on the model of your car. You just you don't imagine that. So I think I think that um, a, a uniformed national let's say business slash government and when I say government I say local government some kind of a partnership on a national scale of of, of fast super uh, fast charging infrastructure with a uniform plug okay remember Tesla with all as much as I love them you can only charge Tesla's there you cannot charge anything else some kind of a uniform infrastructure you know when you go to the gas station there's the same thing you put it in the hole and, and you pump gas God forbid of course but that's what you do you don't have to have different uh, different uh, entrance point and whatever it is it's the same thing anywhere you go okay it's the same level and it's the same thing so what I'm what I'm saying is if if that is not going to go hand in hand and unfortunately unfortunately uh, it's still going to be a small niche market. Now, I know that on the West Coast, for all many reasons, it's much more developed on the East Coast. And I live on the East Coast, and I can tell you, I can tell you, I am not always comfortable. I'm, I have gone to places, and it didn't work, and this thing didn't. 
don't ask. Now, I know where to go now, but it's not, like, it's not a no-brainer. Instead, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's not a no-brainer. That yeah, you, you know you're going to find the gas station everywhere. And here, you know you're going to find charging station everywhere, but it's not always the same. It's not reliable. It, maybe it's not working. Maybe the card is different. It's, it's just a hassle. When you go to a Tesla supercharger with your Tesla, 100% you're going to charge your car. It's 100% going to work. It's 100% going to be there. 100%. There's no problem. And you know that every 100 or so miles, you will find a, sta a station and you can charge. For 20 minutes, 15 minutes, half hour, whatever it is that you need. And, and if that is not going to happen, and it, if that's not going to happen fast, and, and fast enough, I still think uh, it's, it, this is going to be a uh, niche and it's going to be just for a few people, few regions, few areas. It's not going to be, you know, like we, like we say, all 50 states. Now, I drive a 80 mile Nissan Leaf. Yeah, this is not a long distance car. I mean, it's not, it's, not what I, it's not what I got it for and it serves 95% of my needs. But still, people, most people in the world live in cities. And if, if, when you live in a city, you have to have a public infrastructure. You know, I live in a, in a single home. I can charge my car anytime I want. I live, my wife and I leave the house every single day with a full tank of gas. Okay? But most people are not like that. Most people live in cities. Most people live in places when there are no, uh, uh, like, uh, local home, home charging uh, 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 infrastructure, home charging capability. So if that's not going to, to be the focus, at the same time as uh, uh, producing and selling electric cars, it will still be, uh, you know, for people, who, for people who just like to buy it or people like me who have the home infrastructure, okay? What do you think? What is the infrastructure in your area? How do you charge your car? Where do you charge your car? I charge my car 99.9% .9 at home. What do you do? Where do you go? Answer in the comment and help me change the world one electric car at a time. And like my, my videos and subscribe to my channel and help me out by becoming my patron. 